if you live in a very dark place or you have a, a dark room then use lighter fabric curtains that the sun the the, the light can penetrate through Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, Karibu Sana. If you're not new, Karibu Pia. I love you so much, guys. So today we're going to tackle the topic of curtains. And I know all of you or most of you have curtains in your homes. So I know in this country, most of us use curtains for privacy purposes and others use curtains to block the lights from entering in the houses. I want to give you tips on how to elevate your home using curtains. So the first tip is stop using short curtains. And when I mean short, I mean that they don't reach the ground. So when you go to buy your curtains or before you go to buy your curtains, you should measure the, the height of the wall that you're going to put uh, the curtain from the curtain rod down to the floor so that when you go to uh, to get your curtains uh, custom made you're able to get the full length that you need for your curtains so majorly what I mean the curtain should kiss the floor or paddle on the floor so if the area is a high traffic area you should not use the paddle method because um, people can fall down when they are walking and maybe the curtain traps them or or even people can step on the curtain it's not a good it's not a good thing to put a, a lot of fabric on the ground if that's a high traffic area so I would say use the kiss method where, where the curtain and the floor meet so that's the kiss, kiss method and most of the people do that but if you want a luxurious um, way of putting your curtains most of the people use the paddle method and that is when you're using them in rooms that there's no high traffic um, of people or anything pushing pulling things you don't want that when you're pushing and your curtain is trapped because it was paddling on the floor so for the paddling curtains i would say most people use one inch to three inches of the fabric that is on the floor so don't do too much because you don't want it like it's it's a carpet wrapping the floor no you use a little bit of it so it's one uh, one inch to three inches so let's talk about where you should hang your curtains so the curtain rod should be from the ceiling and when I mean from the ceiling is not uh, putting the curtain rods up the ceiling you should have like two to four inches left from the ceiling then put your curtain rods then where that's when you will measure how how long your curtain should go and that will elevate the, that space and make your ceiling appear higher and also elevate that wall it will make it look longer and of course that makes the house look bigger so the other tip is make your curtains fuller we don't want uh, to have like that chippy look of just like you, you put a sheet on your on your um, curtain rods no we want a fuller look it will really elevate that space so you measure the length of that curtain rod if it's two meters then you multiply it by two that is four meters so the fabric you get for your curtain will be four meters but sometimes um, it depends with what you're using if you're using sheer curtain you may want to do it more you may want it to be more fuller so that it can give you more privacy so I will show you different degrees of fullness uh, so that you can um, choose what you really want but if you have a very heavy curtain you don't need so much gathers because it will look so bulky you could do little gathers so also when choosing a curtain you should know what the purpose of that curtain is. some people prefer blackout curtains throughout their homes because they don't want a lot of light or they sleep in for long so for example in my bedroom I would want a blackout curtain because sometimes you want to sleep um, when the sun is up and or sometimes you want light in that home so maybe in your living room you can choose a lighter fabric uh, of curtains and in your bedroom you can choose a different one you don't have to have the same curtains the same design the same color all over your home you can change you can make it different but of course you should remember the flow so if maybe in the living room you've used lighter curtains maybe in a in a creamish um, color you can use in your bedroom heavier curtains maybe with a pattern inside maybe the same color and that will bring the flow 
remember the purpose if you want a dark out if you want a, a, a room to be dark in certain times of the day when the sunlight on set then use blackout curtains if the room is very dark there's no a lot of natural light coming then don't block it with heavy curtains use a lighter fabric of, of your curtains and that will help the light to penetrate through more so the next point is accessorize your curtains so you might ask me how do you do this like if you have maybe white curtains you can use a gold tie back that is accessorizing but if you don't want to elevate it or you just want it to look plain you can use the same fabric that you've used on them on the curtain to, to to make a tie back and that will just look laid back and it will also look good also you can use the same color with the with the color of the curtains that you have if maybe you have black curtains or gray or red or whatever curtains that you have you can use the same one the same you can use the same color of a tie back so that it doesn't look so conspicuous or stand out so much if you don't want that so guys a few tips uh where to get good curtains i would say um Tencent carpet they have good sales in june july and november so or even now you can go and get your curtains so i would say tiles and carpets i would say easily they have so many but of course uh they are common you meet you meet such curtains in everyone's home so if you want something better you can go to tiles and carpets those are the two places i know i know other places like homebox they sell curtains that are already made i would say one Measure where you're going to put your curtain, measure the height, then you can go to the store and get a custom look and I think that will look so good. So guys, if you have any questions or you have any comment, you can comment down below and also you can add your points down below and we can learn from each other. So thank you so much guys. I hope I really tackled this uh, well. I know there's a lot, a lot of other window treatments. I think I will cover them slowly, but I knew most of us have uh, curtains in our homes, so I wanted to just show you how to elevate your curtains. I'll be showing you very soon. I'll be changing my curtains for the living room because they have been here since 2017, and I will, and I will also be putting other curtains in my bedroom. So I hope you enjoy, guys. So I hope you really enjoyed and got something from this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's meet next week.